Hey what's going on guys Tan my here for Telusco Learnings and welcome back to another video tutorial under JavaScript for beginners especially the jQuery part and this is sort of like the part 2 of events in jQuery so in the previous video of this playlist we saw what are events in jQuery and how they are handled a little bit differently compared to what it is in JavaScript and we are going to be taking a look at a few more jQuery events which are predefined in this video so make sure you watch the previous video if you don't have any knowledge about events in jQuery so this is the entire code from the previous video itself we have our entire html document and we have styled it in the css so we've added border margin padding a little bit to these three divisions who have the class of my divs so this is that class and in the jquery in the script tag what we are doing is we are calling the ready function and inside the ready we are having a button with id btn1 so this is that button so this is click me one let me name it click me one this is that button over here and on its click we are calling a function which is custom function which we have typed fn1 and it is performing fade toggling okay so similar to click event let's see one more event which is double click so you have to say dbl click okay so now a single click won't work but if you double click on it the fade toggling is happening so if i click once it's not working but if i click two times you can see the toggling is happening so this is double click event now similar to on mouse over and on mouse out what we have in javascript we've seen that two events in the animation of javascript video right so similar to that what we have over here is mouse enter and mouse exit okay by the way this ready event is called when the entire document is loaded so that's why everything is inside this ready function or ready method basically so these method and events are same okay so when i am talking about events in jquery they have their corresponding predefined methods okay so this ready method is equal to ready event and it is called only when the entire document is loaded so that's why we are calling document dot ready and when the document is ready we want to do something so we have a anonymous function over here without a name and the body of that function is over here and inside this we are doing all our jquery coding so yeah coming back to another inbuilt event which is mouse enter and mouse exit okay so if i say mouse enter this corresponds to or it is equal to on mouse over in the javascript that we had right so if i just scroll on this btn1 now you can see the first paragraph or the first entire division faded out so if i am hovering out again you know fade toggling is happening if i hover again the first division comes back so what i can do is i can say fade out over here on mouse enter and similar to on mouse enter we have mouse leave and here i can say i'll call fn2 i'll just copy paste this entire function fn1 and rename it as fn2 and here i'm going to say fade in okay so when i hover mouse enter is called but i'm leave, leaving it again immediately right so that's why it's fade toggling that is it is fading out and fading in in fact let me just copy these two buttons and paste it on top now if i hover mouse enter is called so that's why it is faded out if i come outside this button fade in is called because mouse leave event is called right now we can do this in one single event which is known as hover so what i can say is let me just use another one another button so here what i'll do is i'll say btn2 and here i can say hover so hover takes two arguments that is two functions basically so hover combines enter as well as leave so you have to say what happens when mouse enters so i'm going to say fn1 comma and i have to say what happens when mouse leaves so this is combining mouse enter and mouse leave in one single event that is hover event so if i hover on click to mouse enter is called if i hover out mouse leave is called that is fn2 is called okay and this is for btn2 that is the second button okay so these were three different mouse hover events similar to that we have keyboard events also like typing on keyboard we have scrolling events and we have a lot of more predefined events in jquery and their corresponding methods but we are not going to be going through all because now you get the point right i hope you understood it i'll drop a link of jquery events which are predefined and their corresponding methods you can check them out you can try them out in your code if you are a beginner you should definitely try them out at least once so that you get a hang of it but i'm pretty sure by now watching the first video of events and this one you must have got a basic idea of what are events and how they are used in jquery in the form of methods so yeah that's it for this video guys i'm going to wrap it up over here if you like this video please give it a thumbs up do share it with your friends 
Let me know in the comments how this video was and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.